Traveling is a means to success. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected. Top Montenegrin food and dishes to try when you are in Montenegro. Montenegro is a Balkan country with rugged mountains, medieval villages and a narrow strip of beaches along its Adriatic coastline. Visiting Montenegro for the first time? You may be wondering what culinary delights you can expect from this Balkan country. Very few dishes have made it out to the west, so there's an element of mystery surrounding restaurant menus here, but we're here to help. Here are our top recommendations of foods to try in Montenegro. Njeguci prosciutto, smoked ham. Njeguska prosciutto is a prosciutto variety originating from the area of Njeguci in Montenegro, hence the name. Pork ham is traditionally salted with sea salt, pressed in order to remove excess liquid, then smoked and dried in the cool mountain air, after which it is left to mature, so the whole process typically takes about a year. The meat is smoked over beech wood, imparting a unique flavor and aroma to this delicacy. When fully matured, this meat product is thinly sliced and can be paired with anything from cheese and bread to salads and pasta dishes. Brav Umlai Jeku or Jangetina Umlai Jeku, Montenegro Lamb in Milk. Montenegrin Lamb in Milk is a regional specialty available in northern Montenegro. The lamb slowly simmers in milk with potatoes, carrots, fennel, rosemary, garlic, parsley, and spices. This meal is traditionally cooked in a sack over coals, and the meat becomes delightfully tender. Chivapi, minced and grilled meat. Chivapi are grilled sausages from southeastern Europe that burst with a smoky aroma and go great with flat bread and sliced onions. Chivapi are also very popular in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Croatia, North Macedonia, and other countries in southeastern Europe. The resemblance of chivapi to a Turkish kofta kebab, which is a mixed meat sausage formed on skewers for easy cooking, demonstrates the Turkish influence. The sausages are placed in a local flat bread, known as lepinia, and topped with sliced onions and a sweet red pepper sauce, known as ivar, or sour cream. Burak, burek, spiral filo dogbai. Burak is made up of layers of filo dough filled with a variety of savory ingredients, such as cottage cheese, spinach, and potatoes. Burak is generally baked curled into a snail-like shape and can be found in bakeries, but traditional restaurants often prepare it in the shape of a pie that is cut into quarters for serving. This dish is quite dominant all across the Balkans. Sama, stuffed sauerkraut cabbage. Sama is traditionally prepared using sauerkraut, minced meat, and rice. A combination of meat, rice, and spices is wrapped in cabbage leaves and set in a pot to cook for a long time. Vegetarians can also enjoy samu as it can be prepared without meat, with rice or potato. Moussaka, moussaka, layered pastry. This meal is fantastic. Creamy, juicy, and utterly tasty. Moussaka is one of the most popular Mediterranean dishes, something similar to a Greek casserole. It's a classic bake with sumptuous layers of juicy beef or lamb mince cooked in a tomato-based sauce, stacked with tasty eggplants and potatoes, covered with a creamy bechamel sauce, and baked till golden. Rastan Rastan, collard greens, is without a doubt the most often cooked dish in Montenegrin cuisine, and it is named from the plant that goes in it, a sort of dark green wild cabbage, with added white potatoes. The flavors are exquisite when combined with pork and sausages. It's sold in fresh food markets and even supermarkets, but it is best to buy it straight from the farm. K-Make, Clotted Cream. Kakamak is commonly served at lunch meetings and even romantic dinners, and is either offered as a warm appetizer or as a main dish. Cheese, cage mac, and potatoes were scarce in the alpine pastures. Due to the limited options, many people would mix ingredients to make numerous additional meals similar to this. 
It is usually made in a large pot or wooden bowl, and, being high in calories, it used to be eaten by agricultural workers who worked in the fields all day as it gave them long-lasting energy. Ivar, Roasted Red Pepper Sauce There's nothing like homemade Ivar. Ivar is produced from ripe red peppers that are picked in the fall. The peppers are traditionally roasted over direct heat until their skins sear and they collapse in on themselves, sweet and sticky. After being roasted, the peppers are seeded and peeled before being crushed into a thick paste, later mixed with various condiments. The consistency may vary from a fine paste to a chunky mush, but it doesn't matter because every Ivar is equally good. Priganus, Montenegrin Donuts If you are a fan of small, tasty bites, then Priganus are made for you. Priganus are deep-fried dough balls that are offered as an appetizer or dessert, depending on whether they are garnished with honey, jam, or even cage mac. The outside should be thin and crispy, and the inside fluffy and full of air. Passage, Bean Soup if you crave comfort food in the winter food, passage is the way to go. It is a bean soup. The beans are frequently cooked with sausage, bacon, or ham, as well as veggies such as onions and carrots. Seasonings such as paprika, bay leaves, and garlic are typically included. Traditional Montenegrin Cheeses For generations, Milk production and processing have been the primary occupations of the majority of Montenegrin farmers. As a result, there is a diverse range of dairy products that play an important role in Montenegrin cuisine, both historically and today. Plievolski, Mchkuski, Liznash, and Plo are the most famous, best quality, and most regularly consumed cheeses. Buzara Buzara is a coastal seafood specialty that can be served in a variety of ways, each more delicious than the last, which is why you need to know more about this tasty dish. Buzara is a meal that can be found in every restaurant along the coast, but the recipes vary significantly. A Buzara version comparable to Brodit is called red or shrimp Buzara, and it is generally cooked with shrimps and tomato juice, or whole, peeled tomatoes for a deeper flavor, accompanied by red wine, olive oil, and parsley. It is typically eaten for lunch. Octopus Salad The Adriatic Sea provides the most intriguing meals in Montenegrin cuisine. One of them is octopus salad. The octopus is sliced into small pieces and fried with garlic and parsley, creating this salad's famous flavor. Eat it with or without potatoes. But generally, potatoes and red onions are the main ingredients, creating a delicious summer combination that complements the delicately grilled octopus. The salad is traditionally seasoned with olive oil and vinegar. Patty Spange Cake Patty Spange is an old Montenegrin cake. It is the result of the influence of Western cultures, as it is the domestic version of the sponge cake Pandy Spore, and its name was only slightly modified. It is, however, not found in pastry shops or supermarkets, and it is never served on formal occasions. Patty Spanish has become a part of intimate family events, and we are always thankful it is. Patty Spanish goes well with tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. Palace Inc. Pancakes. You can find these everywhere, in restaurants, at small street kiosks. Palace Inc. have been around for centuries, even having Greco-Roman origins. You can choose between savory and sweet fillings, depending on your preference. Eurocrum, a hazelnut spread that has been loved for decades, is the most popular topping. Baklava. Greeks and Turks continue to debate about its origin, both nations claiming the honor. I would say that we just don't care, as long as we can enjoy the luscious taste. Anyone who has tried this dessert will understand why. The tastes and textures are one of a kind, simply wonderful. Layers of phyllo pastry alternate with layers of ground walnuts. The entire luxury is soaked in sugar syrup and topped with a flavor of lemon. No wonder it has been among the best desserts in Montenegro for ages. Montenegrin Wines Surprisingly, Montenegro has Europe's largest vineyard. 
Voronek is the most important autochthonous grape type. In honor of the dark red grape, this red wine is named after a traditional Montenegrin word for the black horse. Kstak is a local white wine varietal that grows only in Montenegro, absolutely nowhere else in the world. Plantes Winery is the leading producer, and its easy to drink wines go well with most meals. Montenegro's winemaking history stretches back to the pre Roman period. It has overcome many difficult years to re emerge as part of the country's national heritage. Rokia, Fruit Spirits. Rokia, according to locals, is the elixir for longevity. Many people believe that a small glass of Rokia in the morning provides them with energy and wellness. Rokia is a traditional alcoholic beverage across the Balkans. It is produced from a range of fruits, including plums, prunes, apricots, quince, pear, sherry, and others. The majority of families produce and sell their own Rokia or have a close family member who does. Rokia is served in tiny cups that resemble shot glasses. It is sipped slowly. It can be consumed as an aperitif or digestive. In the winter it can be heated up. Local Beer Nixico is the beer of choice in Montenegro. It's manufactured in Nikšić and is one of the country's primary industries. The first brewery in Montenegro dates back to the late 1800s, when a local requested permission from King Nikola to open the first factory for beer brewing in Nikšić. Water, barley malt, hops, and yeast are the four fundamental raw ingredients used in beer manufacturing. Montenegrins enjoy beer almost as much as they do wine. Check before eat food is. Do subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.